Did you know that your actions speak louder than your words? In a world filled with noise and distractions, the importance of taking meaningful action can easily get lost. If you want to build respect, create lasting change, and ultimately define your character, you need to focus on consistent, purposeful actions rather than mere intentions. In this script, we'll explore the profound impact of action on our lives and the legacy we leave behind. From the power of small, consistent steps to the stoic perspective on character, we'll delve into how every choice shapes who we are and how we're perceived by others. Whether you're seeking personal growth, professional success, or simply a deeper understanding of yourself, the journey starts with a commitment to action. So buckle up as we uncover the keys to transforming your life through the power of doing. Number one, the power of action. Why words alone aren't enough. There's something magical about making things happen. Think back to the feeling of accomplishing something, no matter how big or small. Maybe it was finishing a project, getting in shape, or even just tidying up your space. That small spark of happiness that comes after seeing the result of your hard work, the thrill of doing instead of just talking about it, it's a powerful feeling. You feel energized, confident, and alive. It's as if the universe is giving you a nod of approval, saying, yes, this is how it's done. But then, there's the other side. How many times have we said we would do something, only to find ourselves caught up in the endless cycle of, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'm just not ready yet. We've all been there. We've made promises to ourselves or to others, only to fall short when it came time to act. That sinking feeling of regret or guilt, that's the price we pay for relying on words alone. It's frustrating because deep down, we know that action, not intention, is what changes things. Words are easy, action is hard. Let's take a step back for a moment and reflect. Think about the times in your life when you were all talk. Maybe it was that New Year's resolution to hit the gym regularly. You told everyone you were going to do it. You posted about it online and maybe even bought some new workout gear. But somewhere along the way, life happened. Work got busy, you were tired, or maybe you just didn't feel like going. Before you knew it, the year passed and nothing had changed. You promised yourself action, but instead you were left with excuses. It's relatable, isn't it? We've all been there, caught between intention and follow through, knowing that we're the only ones who can make that shift. Now here's the curiosity part. What if you started thinking differently? What if instead of making promises, you just did? No grand declarations no bold words, just quiet, steady action. How would that change your life? Imagine the impact on your relationships, your career, your personal goals. People would start to notice. You wouldn't have to say a word, but they'd see it. They'd feel it. You'd become the kind of person who commands respect, not because of what you say, but because of what you do. The kind of person who doesn't need to convince others. They just know. Number two, building a reputation through consistency. Let's take a moment to appreciate consistency. Remember the last time you stuck to something long enough to see real results. Maybe it was committing to a new fitness routine, learning a skill, or even saving money over time. At first, it probably felt like a struggle. You might have had moments where it seemed easier to give up, to just let things slide, but then, after a while, you started seeing progress. It wasn't immediate, but it was there, slowly building. That feeling of achievement, knowing you stuck with it, that's the reward consistency brings. It's the happiness that comes with knowing your hard work paid off. But let's face it, consistency isn't glamorous, and it definitely isn't easy. It's not about flashy, quick wins, it's about showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it. And in today's world, 
where we're bombarded with instant gratification, consistency feels like an old-fashioned virtue. Think about it. How many times have you heard someone say they're going to do something, only to watch them abandon it when it gets tough? We're often surrounded by people who talk big, but rarely follow through. It's a culture of say now, do later, if ever. And yet, we admire the people who stick with things, who are reliable, who don't just dip their toes in, but dive deep. Think back to someone you respect, maybe a mentor, a family member, or a close friend. Chances are they're someone who is consistent in their actions, someone you can count on. Whether they show up when they say they will, keep their promises, or simply embody the values they talk about, consistency is the backbone of their reputation. It's not about being perfect, it's about being dependable. Their word means something because their actions back it up time and time again. Let's get nostalgic for a minute. Think about the moments in your life when you wished you'd been more consistent. Maybe it was that hobby you gave up on, or the diet you abandoned, or even the relationships you didn't invest in because you got too busy or distracted. It's a tough pill to swallow, but inconsistency robs us of growth and trust, both in ourselves and from others. We can't build a solid foundation if we're always jumping from one thing to another. And we've all been guilty of that at some point, right? But here's where it gets interesting. What if consistency became your superpower? What if you were known as the person who always followed through no matter what? The person whose actions spoke volumes? Imagine how your reputation would change. People would start to rely on you, not because of what you say, but because they know you'll deliver. Your word would carry weight, not because of the promises you make, but because of the actions you consistently take. Building a reputation through consistency isn't just about impressing others. It's about proving to yourself that you can be trusted, that you can count on your own discipline and determination. And that, in the long run, is far more valuable than any quick win or temporary success. Number 3. Earning respect by following through. There's something incredibly fulfilling about earning respect. It's not something that can be demanded or forced. It has to be given, and the only way to truly earn it is by following through on what you say you'll do. Think about the satisfaction of someone acknowledging your hard work, not because you asked for recognition, but because they noticed your dedication. It's a quiet, unspoken appreciation that feels more genuine than any compliment. Earning respect through action is one of the most rewarding experiences because it's built on a foundation of trust and reliability. But let's be real, it's not always easy. Following through requires discipline, focus, and sometimes sacrifice. We've all had moments where we've dropped the ball, where we've promised something and didn't deliver. Maybe it was a work deadline, a commitment to a friend, or even a promise to ourselves that we couldn't keep. When that happens, it doesn't just impact our relationship with others, it affects how we view ourselves. Each time we don't follow through, we chip away at our own self-respect. Now, think about someone in your life who has consistently followed through on their promises. Whether it's a parent, a friend, or a colleague, their actions likely speak louder than their words. They don't need to remind you of what they've done because their track record speaks for itself. There's a kind of nostalgia in thinking about these people because they're often the ones who've been there for us, who've shown up when it mattered. Their reliability is a comfort in a world that can often feel uncertain. And yet, how often do we fall into the trap of thinking that words are enough? It's so easy to say, I'll do it, or I've got this, without really considering the weight of those words. But when we consistently follow through, something shifts. We start to build a reputation not just as someone who talks a good game, but as someone who delivers. And that's where real respect comes from, not from our promises, but from our actions. 
Here's where it gets curious. What would happen if you made it a point to follow through on everything you committed to? Not just the big things, but the small ones too. Imagine how that would change the way people see you. More importantly, imagine how it would change the way you see yourself. Following through isn't just about earning the respect of others. It's about earning self-respect. Each time you follow through, you reinforce the idea that you can be counted on, that your word means something. Number four, the emotional impact of being respected for your actions. There's a unique kind of satisfaction that comes from being respected, not for what you say, but for what you do. In a world full of opinions, promises and talk, respect earned through action holds weight. It's a quiet, steady acknowledgement that you have proven yourself without the need to shout your successes from the rooftops. There's no grand announcement, no big show, just the simple, powerful truth that you follow through. That respect touches something deep inside, filling you with a sense of pride and validation. And it's that feeling that keeps you moving forward, pushing past obstacles. Imagine the moments in life when you felt truly respected. Perhaps it was at work when a colleague or superior gave you recognition, not because of what you claimed you would do, but because you consistently delivered. Maybe it was in a relationship where your partner showed their trust in you, knowing that when you promised something, you would keep your word. The feeling of being trusted, of having your actions seen and valued, stirs something deep within. It's a happiness rooted in integrity, a quiet form of joy that's built on consistency and reliability. Yet this kind of respect doesn't come easily. It's earned slowly through countless moments where you could have chosen the easy way out. But instead, you stood firm. You didn't make excuses or look for shortcuts. You did the work. And the truth is, many people in this world talk a big game, but fail to back it up. They make promises, inflate their capabilities, or embellish their stories to impress others. It works for a while, until it doesn't. Sooner or later, people notice the gap between words and actions. And when they do, respect evaporates. Now think about the last time you respected someone deeply. Perhaps it's a mentor or a family member, someone who didn't need to brag about their accomplishments because their actions spoke volumes. This person likely made a lasting impression on you, not through grand speeches or bold promises, but by consistently following through. They earned your respect the hard way, by showing up, by sticking to their word, and by quietly proving themselves time and time again. In those people, we find a kind of nostalgia, an admiration that goes beyond simple appreciation. They become role models, whether they realize it or not. And it's not just about the big actions, it's the little things too. Holding the door for someone, offering help when it's needed, or just being reliable in everyday situations. The emotional impact of these actions is profound because they build a bridge of trust and respect between people. We feel it in our friendships, in our families, and in our communities. The people who are there when it matters, who keep their word when others might falter, these are the people we remember. And when you become that person, the respect you gain is worth more than any fleeting praise or superficial recognition. Number five consequences of inaction, trust and opportunity. Lost. The saying goes, inaction is a decision in itself, and those words couldn't be more true. We often think of inaction as harmless, as something passive. But the truth is, failing to act carries its own consequences. Consequences that often run deeper than we expect. Whether it's missing out on an opportunity, damaging trust in a relationship, or simply letting ourselves down, the price of inaction is steep. The emotional toll, once we realize what we've lost, can be overwhelming. And the worst part? Many of these consequences are avoidable, if only we had taken action when it mattered most. Think about a time when you didn't act, when you hesitated or put something off, 
Maybe it was reaching out to someone for help, applying for a job, or stepping up to solve a problem. At first, it might have felt like a minor decision, a maybe later moment, but as time passed, the missed opportunity became clearer. Someone else got the job. The problem worsened. The chance to make a difference slipped through your fingers. The regret that follows isn't just about what didn't happen, it's about what could have been, and that's a hard thing to live with. Inaction doesn't just affect us, it affects the people around us too. Trust is built on action, on the promises we keep, the support we offer, and the way we show up when we're needed. When we fail to act, especially when others are counting on us, we chip away at that trust. It doesn't take much, a missed deadline, a forgotten promise, a lack of follow-through. Over time, these small moments of inaction accumulate, creating cracks in the foundation of our relationships. And once trust is broken, it's difficult to repair. People start to second-guess us, to wonder if we're really reliable. They may not say it out loud, but the doubt is there, lingering in the background. Let's get nostalgic for a minute. Think back to a time when someone let you down, not because they did something wrong, but because they didn't do anything at all. Maybe it was a friend who promised to help you move but never showed up, or a colleague who didn't pull their weight on a project, leaving you to pick up the slack. The disappointment you felt wasn't just about the task at hand, it was about the trust that was broken. You relied on them and they didn't follow through. That feeling of being let down, of realizing that someone you trusted didn't care enough to act, stays with you. And the same is true when we're the ones who don't act. The people in our lives may not always tell us outright, but they feel it. Inaction also robs us of growth. Every opportunity we pass up, every challenge we avoid, is a chance to learn and improve that we'll never get back. Sure, taking action is risky. It can lead to failure, disappointment or rejection, but those are temporary setbacks. Inaction, on the other hand, creates a different kind of failure, one that lingers because it's the failure of not even trying. We can't grow, improve or evolve if we're too afraid to take the first step. And over time, the opportunities we miss begin to pile up, leaving us stuck in the same place, wondering why we're not moving forward. Number six, turning words into action, practical steps to success. We've all heard the saying, actions speak louder than words. It's a simple phrase that packs a powerful truth. Words, while important, are often nothing more than promises, ideas or intentions. Action is what gives those words meaning and makes them real. But turning words into action isn't always easy. It requires more than just willpower. It takes discipline, planning and persistence. The process of transforming a promise into a tangible result can be complex, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Let's take a deep dive into the steps that help us turn our words into actions and ultimately into success. It all starts with the moment of inspiration, that burst of enthusiasm when we declare, I'm going to do this. Maybe it's deciding to get fit, learn a new skill or start a side business. That moment feels exciting, like the possibilities are endless. There's a rush of energy that comes with making a promise to yourself or others. But here's the thing that initial excitement fades. And when it does, the reality of how much work it will take starts to set in. This is where most people falter, where words remain just words and the dream starts to drift away. If you think back to a time when you didn't follow through on something, it's likely because you lost that spark. You started strong, but didn't have a system in place to keep going. But imagine how it would feel if every time you made a promise to yourself, you saw it through. The sense of accomplishment, the pride, the respect you'd earn from yourself and others. Those are the rewards of turning your words into action, and they're worth fighting for. So how do we bridge the gap between words and action? 
The first step is getting crystal clear on what you want to achieve. Vague goals like, I want to be healthier, or I want to be successful, don't provide enough direction. You need specificity. Instead of saying, I want to be healthier, you could say, I'm going to work out three times a week for 30 minutes. Instead of, I want to be successful, try I'm going to set up a budget for my business and focus on increasing my client base by 20% in the next six months. Specific goals give you something to aim for, something measurable. Next, break your goal down into smaller, actionable steps. This is where a lot of people get stuck. They see the end goal, but it feels overwhelming. Let's say your goal is to write a book. That's a huge task, right? But what if you broke it down into daily or weekly targets? You could set a goal to write 500 words a day or a chapter every two weeks. By breaking it down, the task becomes more manageable and it's easier to stay motivated. Each small step feels like a win and those small wins add up over time. There's an element of nostalgia when we think back to the moments where we wish we had followed through on something. Maybe it was a New Year's resolution that never really got off the ground or a promise we made to ourselves but let slip away. The weight of unfinished goals lingers. We all know what it's like to look back with regret, wishing we had done more. But here's the beautiful thing. Every day is a new opportunity to start again. Turning words into action isn't about being perfect, it's about being persistent. Number seven, the legacy of action-oriented leaders. History is written by those who act. This statement might evoke a mix of curiosity, inspiration, and even a sense of nostalgia for the lives that have come before us, people who, with their decisions, changed the course of the world. Action-oriented leaders don't just make promises or deliver speeches, they leave behind a legacy that transcends their own time. Their stories are those we teach in schools, reflect upon in times of adversity, and look to as models of success. But what truly sets these leaders apart, and how can we emulate their behavior in our own lives? Think for a moment about figures like Martin Luther King Jr., whose action-driven leadership in the civil rights movement transformed not only the United States, but also inspired global movements for equality and justice. His words were powerful, yes, but it was the marches, the protests, the sit-ins, and the willingness to endure personal risk that cemented his legacy. This wasn't just about speaking on a stage, it was about showing up in the streets, facing opposition head-on and refusing to be silenced in the face of injustice. This legacy of action is relatable to all of us, regardless of whether we have a national stage. On a more personal level, we've all known individuals who inspire by what they do rather than what they say. Maybe it's the boss who doesn't just talk about teamwork, but is the first to roll up their sleeves during a crisis, or the family member who consistently shows up in times of need without being asked, demonstrating that reliability is as much an action as it is a promise. The impact of action-oriented leaders extends beyond the immediate results of their work. Their influence echoes through time, shaping the lives of those who come after them. Consider someone like Steve Jobs, who revolutionized technology not through endless meetings or theoretical designs, but by relentlessly pursuing innovation and executing his vision. Jobs wasn't just a thinker, he was a doer, and his actions have left a lasting imprint on the way we live and communicate. But action isn't always about grand, sweeping gestures or moments that will make the history books. Sometimes, the most impactful leaders are those who inspire action on a smaller scale within their communities or families. These leaders leave behind legacies not through fame or global recognition, but by influencing the lives of those they directly touch. A schoolteacher who consistently shows up, nurtures curiosity, and provides a safe space for learning is, in many ways, just as impactful as a global leader. Their actions create ripples, 
shaping the lives of their students and the futures of generations to come. Number 8. Being a person of action in everyday life. When we think of action, our minds often jump to big moments, career-changing decisions, acts of heroism, or life-altering choices. But being a person of action isn't just about the grand gestures, it's about the small, consistent steps we take every day. It's about choosing to act in the mundane, ordinary moments of life, when it might be easier to sit back and wait for things to happen. True action is a way of living. It's woven into the fabric of who you are, influencing how you approach every situation, big or small. Imagine waking up in the morning with the intention of being a person of action. What does that look like? It starts with the small decisions, the ones that seem inconsequential, but over time define who you are. Do you hit the snooze button again or get out of bed when the alarm goes off? Do you start your day with purpose, setting priorities and goals, or do you let the day unfold haphazardly? These small choices set the tone for your entire day and, ultimately, your life. We all have moments when we're tempted to avoid action, to let things slide. Maybe it's that pile of paperwork on your desk that's been growing for weeks, or the difficult conversation you've been putting off. In these moments, it's easy to rationalize in action, I'll deal with it later, it's not that urgent, or someone else will handle it. But every time we choose not to act, we reinforce a habit of inaction. And over time, that habit becomes harder and harder to break. Being a person of action in everyday life means embracing a mindset of proactivity. It means recognizing that every moment is an opportunity to move forward, to make progress, to do something that brings you closer to your goals. It's about developing the habit of taking action, even when it's uncomfortable or inconvenient. And this is where the true power of action lies, in its ability to transform not just your circumstances, but your character. When you consistently take action in your daily life, something incredible happens, you start to trust yourself more. You become someone who doesn't just talk about doing things, you actually do them. This self-trust is incredibly powerful because it builds confidence. Every time you follow through on a task, no matter how small, you send yourself the message, I can do this. Over time, this confidence becomes unshakable. Number nine, how small consistent actions lead to big results. In a world that often seems to prioritize instant gratification, we find ourselves yearning for quick solutions and rapid success. Yet, there's an undeniable truth that many great achievers and thinkers have echoed through time. Meaningful change often stems from small, consistent actions rather than grand gestures. Picture a steady drip of water, which over time can wear down the hardest rock it's a powerful metaphor for how tiny efforts can lead to monumental transformations. At first glance, the notion of small actions leading to significant results may seem trivial, even dismissible. We often overlook the importance of daily habits, brushing them off as mundane or inconsequential. However, when we zoom out and examine the bigger picture, it becomes apparent that every grand achievement is built upon a foundation of small, deliberate steps. This realization can shift our perspective from seeking immediate results to valuing the power of perseverance and commitment. Let's start by exploring the story of Thomas Edison. Known for his groundbreaking inventions, including the electric light bulb, Edison famously stated, Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. His relentless pursuit of innovation was not fueled solely by brilliant ideas. It was the countless hours spent in his laboratory, the repeated failures and the unwavering commitment to refining his work that ultimately led to his success. Edison's journey illustrates that it is through consistent effort, day in and day out, that we lay the groundwork for greatness. This principle can be applied to various aspects of life, 
from personal development to professional achievements. Take the example of fitness. Many individuals embark on a fitness journey with ambitious goals, losing a significant amount of weight or training for a marathon. However, the path to success often involves committing to small, manageable actions, such as incorporating daily walks, adjusting dietary choices, or setting aside time for strength training. Initially, these actions may seem insignificant, but over time, they compound, leading to remarkable changes in health, stamina, and overall well-being. Number 10. Why action defines character a stoic perspective in a fast-paced world filled with distractions and competing priorities it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters yet at the core of a fulfilling life lies a fundamental truth echoed by the ancient stoics our actions not our intentions define who we are this perspective invites us to reflect on the essence of our character and how it is shaped through the choices we make the Stoic philosophy teaches us that while we cannot control external circumstances, we have complete authority over our responses to them. This realization is both empowering and humbling. It reminds us that our character is not determined by our circumstances, but by our actions and the principles that guide them. In moments of adversity or challenge, we have the opportunity to demonstrate our true selves through our responses. Imagine a scenario where you face a difficult decision, perhaps a conflict at work, a personal setback, or a moral dilemma. In these moments, your character is put to the test. Will you act with integrity, guided by your values? Or will you succumb to fear, anger, or apathy? The choices you make in these situations reveal your true character, they illustrate not only who you are, but also what you stand for. This principle evokes a sense of nostalgia as we reflect on our past decisions. Can you recall a moment when you acted in alignment with your values, even when it was challenging? Perhaps it was standing up for a friend, advocating for a cause, or making a sacrifice for the greater good. These moments define us. They leave an indelible mark on our character and shape how others perceive us. Curiosity invites us to delve deeper into the Stoic notion of virtue. The Stoics believed in four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Each of these virtues serves as a guiding principle for our actions. As we wrap up this journey through the power of action, remember that you are part of a rare group of individuals committed to transforming their lives. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This signifies that you're one of the few who truly finishes what they start, a vital trait for anyone seeking success. If you're serious about making lasting changes in your life, don't forget to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can inspire and uplift each other as we take meaningful steps toward our goals. Your journey to greatness begins with the choices you make today.